We're now going to take a look at automatic teller machines in the purpose of collecting data in transaction processing systems. So basically, automatic teller machines allow people to check their account balances, money transfers, check deposits and money withdrawals. The whole function of the automatic teller machine is to read a specific bank card and on the back of the card there is usually a magnetic strip. This magnetic strip gets read and then the user enters a certain PIN code to identify it is their card. Okay, the teller machine provides many input devices for them to then enter data into the machine, whether it be the keypad, buttons, or a touch screen. ATMs are usually directly connected to a bank via an Ethernet cable, but they also may be connected in shopping centres as well as uh, smaller shops, either through a dedicated phone line or a dial-up modem when requested. So if we're going to take a look at the components that are involved in using automatic teller machines, the first one is the actual ATM card. So on the back of the ATM card, there's a whole variety of data that is useful to the owner of the card, even specifically what types of ATM machines might not offer a fee when you use them. Okay, but what we're mainly focused with when using an automatic teller machine is the magnetic strip. Okay, the magnetic strip is what specifically gets read by the ATM machine. It is entered into the card reader. Okay, where there's an actual strip reader there that can actually read the magnetic strip. After it has been entered into the ATM machine, the user then has to enter in their PIN number on the keypad to identify that it is their card. Once they are then logged into the machine, they can then navigate menus, whether using navigation buttons or touch screens, depending on which ATMs they are using. Once they are completed, if they are doing a withdrawal, money is then outputted out of the system. So I hope this gives you a good idea of how ATM machines work in transaction processing systems.